What is up, Fan Lala? Kendall here from Heffron Drive, and we are recording some vocals for Parallel Acoustic for the Happy Mistakes Acoustic album. What if the one who was meant for you was all alone right in front of you? You just didn't see it was there all the time. Got a feeling tonight, yeah, the stars align. Uh, this is like a small part of what goes into it. Then there's assembling everything. Uh, and so today we decided since it's acoustic um, and with the acoustic album, really, we've decided overall to do like maybe one lead vocal, uh, the entire thing. So uh, it's really fun and it's challenging us to do our best, but uh, we're working hard to make it for you guys. So check it out. How many tracks are usually in a song? Yeah. Yeah, um, because with with producing, you know, it's like you want to make it as big and layered, layered as possible. So I would say anywhere, like the stuff that we do, I would say, or with vocals and harmonies and everything, 80. anywhere from eighty to hundred tracks. And now we're at like anywhere from fifteen to twenty-five with this acoustic stuff. And then we're even on the lower end of tracks. A lot of people when they do songs are up to one hundred and fifty you know, tracks in a song. Yeah. Like listen, any typical Katy Perry song you would hear on the radio is probably like 120 tracks. Yeah, I heard. You know, of different synths and vocals and backgrounds and piano that's way tucked back you don't even hear. I mean, a lot of stuff is just so pulled back it's just to feel it, you know? It's like on the high, on the high Are you talking, it sounds like a cricket kind of? No, it's like... Uh, so, I mean, I think, is that just the tone of the cajon? Something in a, uh, a typical day will be less than a normal work day, like, like I mean, maybe eight or nine hours or something like that. Nothing too crazy. But then sometimes when you have to get stuff done, you'll stay uh, 12 hours. I think yeah. one time on this acoustic stuff we had a 12-hour day, but that was just because we were kind of in a, in a zone, and I didn't really want to, you know, if you're grooving, you don't really want to stop. Um, and then sometimes you're just not feeling it, and then it's better just to go. You know, it's like why sit and not be in a good zone and be like why isn't this going off well it's because well you're not really want to be here yeah so. actually like a couple days ago we got here recorded something and i look over and he's like on the floor passed out I was like you good bro and he's like yeah dude i'm so tired and i was like man i'm tired too let's just it was, like, it. It was like eight eight o'clock it wasn't even that bad yeah well, it wasn't even bad and we got here at like five yeah. so it wasn't it wasn't even bad but we were just like we're tired let's go so we went The reason I thought it would be cool for you guys to film is that I feel like in pop music, and it's sort of a bit of the monkey syndrome, when you do pop music, people don't think that, and some people aren't really that involved, to be perfectly truthful, but some people underestimate the involvedness of making the music, especially in a band like this where all you see is the finished product and you don't know who wrote it, you know, where it came from, who paid for it, all that stuff. So I wanted you guys to come over here and see this because we're putting hours upon hours upon hours into it and hours of creativity and just um, thinking outside the box and and spending money on equipment to make it sound epic and we want to show you guys so that you know you can see the process of actually goes into making the music and see how hands-on we are and maybe when you hear the music especially this acoustic record you can feel it you know so if anything this is like a an image into what it took to make an acoustic record and I think I think also if at least for me like if i hear a song that's been redone acoustically and i like it it's it's like it almost proves to a fan more that like it's you a are, great song yeah you, it's a great song and like you are who you say you are as an artist because with an acoustic song you can't hide behind anything there's nothing to mask a, a sound or, or something like it's it has to be truthful and if it's truthful and it comes off that way and you can appreciate it for being that then i think that's the most important thing that you can do mm -hmm. We're putting hours upon hours upon hours into it and hours of creativity and just um, thinking outside the box and, and spending money on equipment to make it sound epic. And we want to show you guys so that you, know, you can see the process of actually goes into making the music and see how hands-on we are. And maybe when you hear the music, especially this acoustic record, you can feel it. You know? So if anything, this is like a, an image into what it took to make 
an acoustic record. Rather than having a drummer in here like with a full kit. <laughs> <laughs> can get a little old like as far as like repetition stuff you know and it's a lot of intricate editing I mean he knows a lot about the, even just comping vocals takes forever and there's so many different techniques that's the other thing is like you you can learn from somebody but you have